This is the painting we are going to do today. The Girl in the Red Feathered Hat. This is an acrylic painting, so let's get started. I'm going to make a nice dark background and I'm going to make it black and blue and so black and blue, a bit of red and some white. It's a nice color, isn't it? I'm using my bristle brush because I find that it helps spread the paint faster. Just the background. Kind of like that kind of purplish look to it almost, doesn't it? Yep, I have a little more black. I'm going to go back and forth with different colors, so they're not all just plain colors. Oh, I don't know why it's doing that. Just back and forth. There, we have that much done. So I'll put my drawing on my canvas when it's dry and I'll put chalk on the back. It's all chalk. And then I will use a pen and I will draw it out. But we start painting it in, you'll be able to see it better. So just get a small flat brush. We'll start off with the head. That looks like the easiest. That way we'll be able to see. We're just going to put in basic colors right now so we can see it because it's a little hard to see. But once we get our colors in, we'll be fine. If you get too much chalk on there, you can easily wipe it off with a damp brush. A clean damp brush, that is. So just put on red for now. And... You will need to... Put in some shadow color here because I don't want to lose that. I'll just get the hat done first. I'll leave a little bit of space there. Just so I won't lose that shadow where the shadow is supposed to go.
I will give you the, re the reference photo that I got from Pixabay. I changed it up a bit. Even when I get the, the reference photos from Pixabay, I change them up. I just want to take things out, put things in. I use my artistic license to move things around. You don't want to paint exactly like the picture. So I'm just going to put a shadow in here. Really dark because I don't want to lose it. Okay, that's just so I can see it. This is all just basic colors. Now we may have to change those. just going to throw in the feathers just to get them started. They won't be actually the feathers, but they will be a start. Like I said, I just want to get the basic colors on there. I'm going to use a small fan brush. Okay, so let's get some gray paint. And... will make a feather going up this way. So we're just going to use the fan brush and we are going to use the chiseled edge of the fan brush and we're going to go up this way. There we go. Darken it up a little bit. So we can see it. There we go. Good. We have another one here somewhere. We're going to have to wing it. We're going to have to wing it. One here. Okay. I want to clean my brush and get some white paint. And I'm not going to clean it completely. I'm going to leave a bit of grayish color, but I want white. And I've got to make some feathers. So I'm going to start on. It's just like when you make your palm trees. You start on the line and pull out. Use the line as a guide. Pull out. Pull out. So you're on the line and you're pulling out, pulling away. You're on the line and you're pulling away. Pulling away. It might be a little tricky, but it takes practice. Just practice. 
practice on a piece of paper for us before you attempt it. That's one side of the feather. I'm going to do the back side, and the back side is going to follow the same shape. So, so I'm going to, hmm, hmm. I'm going to come out from the line and pull up. I'm going to try. I'm just putting my chisel edge on the, bar, on the line and I'm pulling out. Touch, pull, touch, pull, touch, pull. Yes, it's going to take a little bit of practice. I'm even having a little bit of a time with it. But it looks okay, doesn't it? It looks okay. Just trying to get the... Um, Okay, let's try a black one, pure black. Now, 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 same thing. And on the back, chiseled edge, pull out, up, out and up. Out and up. I said it might be tricky. Probably put a bit of highlight on that or something to uh, I'm gonna pull this one over into the white a little bit more. So work on your chiseled edge and then if you have to turn chisel edge first pull out and then turn it this way in order to get some of these little edges like I said it's going to take practice I think I'm going to put a yellow one here instead of red one look what I got I got a bit of paint left in this and I cut off the bottom of it and there's a bit of paint in there so I'm going to use that I don't like wasting paints because they're so expensive and my Patreons are helping me out with my supplies by making pledges and uh, I'm not wasting their money. <laughs> I'm not wasting my paints. I don't want to waste anything. Now, this one here is just the same thing. I'm going to go on the line and I'm going to pull out, pull out, pull out. I'm going to add white to that to make it opaque because a bit of a transparency there. It's a bit transparent. See what happens on the line you pull out? Isn't that pretty? I like to make it thicker though. And then the other sides. It's a little tricky, but you know, we're getting there. I think I'm going to make that black one a little thicker too on the back there because it looks kind Thin. of for the other two, it looks really nice. Pure black, pure black. Okay, maybe I'll give it a few more little hairs out here. See this one, I'm using my chiseled edge this way. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm going to chisel edge, oops, and I'm going to come out this way. And now I'm going to turn my brush this way and pull out. And then I'm going to turn my brush back the other way again. So, <laughs> a little tricky, but let's try it, you know. It's always nice to learn new things. Let's get some red. Put some red here just to, uh, now when that dries, let it dry the first coat and that, then you'll be able to get a 
and get a better I'm going over that black because it's too black so I'm going to get to the front of it here first make sure you get the flat chisel edge because you want to get around that corner there I want to make that nice and bright, even if we have to do three or four coats. Now, like I said, there's other things in the hat. There's all kinds of things, nets and flowers and all kinds of stuff. But I'm going to keep it pretty plain. You can add whatever you want when you look at the... Because uh, I'm doing the video, so I don't want to be here for two days trying to do a painting. So... I'm going to do the very basics and then you can take the reference photo and add everything you want. This will be the basics. Same with all the paintings I do. I get started for you. You can certainly add your own touches after. When I'm done, that don't mean you have to be done, alright? You might say, well, sure, I don't know where to go. Well, if I give you a reference photo, you can look at that, and the things I leave out, you can try to put them in, or you can, you know, put in some animals or people, or, you know, whatever you think would look nice, or you can leave it as it is. It's all fun. Get around those feathers there, so it'll look like they're into the head somehow. Like I say, when that dries, we'll, we'll give it another coat. It really needs to be much brighter in the red. We can't, I don't know if I could add pink or maybe a bit of yellow, but it'll be too, it'll be either orange or pink, and I don't know if I want to try to keep it with the red. So I may have to do a couple of coats. Let's get out a small liner brush and put in your black paint. All right, it's the thinnest one you can find, and we'll do her eye. Let's see. Let's see. Do that part first. That might be the easiest way out. And this one. Now, if you fool up, don't worry. You make mistakes. We have a problem. We we'll just paint over something. You know, we need to paint over something. We gotta wait for it to dry. If it's really bad, wait for it to dry, and then we'll paint it out and start over. So don't worry too much. So just trying to figure out where to go from here. Thinking maybe. Make that eye there. Make the pupil and the iris. I think I made it a bit too big. What do you think? Let's try to make this one a little bigger. To make adjustments as I go along. All right, clean your brush and we'll do our eyebrows in a burnt sienna. Burnt sienna. So once you get the basics done, you know, 
This should be browner than that, so just add a little black to your burnt sienna. All right. I'm going to take that out because it's a little bit too close. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. She got red lips. Let's get our lips in. Red lips. Let's see. Let's see. Everything might look funny now, but when you, uh, we're just trying to get the basics in, try to get the shapes. These shapes could change because it could be, could be wrong, could be the brush slipped around, didn't get the right shape. We need to um, let this dry so we can go and do our second coats. All right, so we can see that we're very, very, um, in the very early stages. I'm going to take some red and add a little black to it. All right, to get that little separation. Yeah, I know. It looks funny right now. Don't worry. We'll get it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get white. Pure white. I'm going into our eyes. If that's dry, I can make that smaller. brush was wet. Got to be careful with these liner brushes. You'll find water gets here and then it starts to run down on your brush and then it makes a little pool of water. So happens to me a lot because um, I'm always cleaning my brush and I'm always going back and forth. Okay. She got big eyes. Big eyes. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take some blue and a little bit of black. Just mixing about equal amounts. Where are you? And I'm going to put it in here. Here.
when that dries we'll put some highlights in there. So while waiting for that, why don't we take our same brush, put some white on it, and let's get some of these earrings. just pulling out from the center there. A bit of a sparkle to those areas, hey. We'll do the other side. The other side a little smaller for some reason. I don't know if it's our head turned a certain way or These are just little round circles here. I'm going to try and make them the same as the other side. Even though the picture shows them smaller, I don't know why. I'm going to put the earring here. And just pull out. Sparkles. And let's see what else we got. We should get some skin tone and see if we can put our skin in there. And then we will do a second coat of everything and then we're done. That simple. Hey, get a small brush, probably a zero or one or two of a filbert. And let's mix up a bit of skin tone, which we could use. Um, our little recipe uh, of the skin tones I made. I have a video on how to make all different colors, different tones. So I start off with white and then I add a little bit of yellow and then I add a little bit of red and a little bit of burnt sienna. Now her skin tone is dark, so we'll add more burnt sienna. Okay. So we might need burnt umber. So I'm just going to add more burnt sienna. And maybe a little tiny bit of black just to, oops. <laughs> oh boy, how did that happen? Just a little bit of black. Be careful. I say burnt umber will be better. So let's go on the edge of her face with this. Good. And under here. Here. I'm trying to find the shadows. And comes in here a bit more. And a little bit here. I'm just going to smooth it out into here. We'll fix all that up, don't worry. And her nose is there, so I'm going to take a toothpick and just put a couple little dots in there for her nose, just to, so we know where it is. And now we'll do the side of her neck, the burnt sienna, and her shoulder. I'll 
put some down here too. So it's burnt sienna with a little bit of the other, with the colors that we put together, but more burnt sienna because that's a shadow, okay? Stay away from black, Aurora. Anyway, the experiment. We have to figure things out. So now I'm going to add a little bit of white. Brighten it up a little bit, okay? So, put that in here. What I'm going to do, I think maybe the best thing for us to do is add some while we're doing this here, because this dries pretty fast, why don't we add some of this uh, Liquid X slow dry blending medium fluid? Let's try that. Just I'm just going to dip my brush right into that. Okay. I'm just going to put my brush in there, and I'm going to put that on here. Really dry so fast you can't get a chance to work. So I would say for this here we're trying to blend the two colors, the shadows and the highlights, we'll use the blending gel. See how fast that dried? And the worst thing is when it dries it starts to come off the canvas. Then the canvas starts to come through. Stubborn. But there's ways around it with the blending gel. So I'm going to take just burnt sienna, put it under the neck here. Pull it down with the rest. I am finding it a bit better now. Now her face, her face, we gotta get her face pretty. So I'm just gonna pick up some of the lighter color with the white. her nose. Oh no. You know what you could have did if I had to think of it? Probably, I don't know, right? You could have painted the whole face the cream color. And then added the eyes and nose and things after, but I don't know. I think a face is always difficult to do anyway. So don't worry. Get some more of your blending gel. And some more of your lighter color. I thought this was going to be an easy one. <laughs> and was I wrong? Get this side of her nose so you can tell it's her nose. Just go around those little black lines that we made. Add a little bit of white to your mix. Okay, so we can lighten it up. So go back to what we made, right? And then add a bit of white to lighten. See how I lighten it up? Just by adding a bit of white. 
because we're going to need to brighten up her nose a little bit right here in order so we can see it. A little bit there. And let's see, let's see on the cheeks. Move it around. If it's too much paint on your brush, just wipe it off in your tissue so that you can work with what you have. So you can blend it together. Get more gel if you need to. She looks sassy. Yeah, I just got more blending gel. I didn't pick up any paint yet. Just got the gel to help me move things around. Blending medium. She looks sassy because this line here is not supposed to be there, see? There you go. Your eyebrows can certainly change your expression, even on your own face. coming around. As you can see, it's going to take you a little while to get this the way you want it. It's not that easy. Some of my paintings get to be a little more for the intermediates. Not for the events, because advanced people don't need to follow my instructions. <laughs> I need to follow theirs. <laughs> so. Intermediate. That's people who've been at it for a few years and have some idea of what brushes to use, what color paints to use, you know, just different things. But if you're a newbie, or if you're a new artist, you, you find anything too hard, then get go to the easier things first and then come back after you get more experience. And that way you won't get frustrated. Okay, that got to dry before I can get that to do anything. I'll come back to that. And I want to put some, I add a little more white to my mix. See how bright it is? I'm going to pick up some more blending gel. So blending, the blending medium is great for this also, right? Anytime, anytime you want to blend colors, that's when you can use your blending mediums. Use water and it thins out the paint. So
Okay, so I'm going to add a bit more burnt sienna to my brush. And I still got blending gel on my brush. That way I can put that shadow on there and it'll blend really nice. See? Anytime you want to use shadow color, just get burnt sienna. Burnt sienna is nice. All right. <laughs> her eyes look funny, but we'll fix it. I'm going to add a few dabs of white in her eyes there. Just to get something in there anyway. Just to make it look... So you can see where you're going with it. Just using my liner brush. Just leave it like that for now. I'm going to add more white to her eye. That way I can straighten things up if I need to. liner brushes for those really small areas. Now, not all liner brushes are, are the same. So you may have to use several before you get the one that's really working for you. better. I'm going to get some black. Let's see if I can fix up this in here. <laughs> she's adorable almost I'll work on her lips again I know her face is not done yet her her lips go up like that they're tiny lips pouty lips they call them pouty lips are so cute
what I'm going to do is try to get the face tones better. So I'll get my blending gel and I'll uh, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna add a little bit of burnt sienna to my mix that we made, but the, I added a bit of white to it, so I'm gonna just stick to the, the colors that you made in the beginning and you go back and forth with some burnt sienna and some white. Don't need to add red and yellow anymore. See? So now I'm going to try and get her lips better than that. Her lips come in here somehow. That's the beauty of it. You can go back and forth until you get the right shapes. See, even though you draw it out, it's still difficult to get it exactly right because you're, you're working with a brush. Right? You're working with a brush and it's not that easy. Let's see, Anna. more red to those lips. I'm using a liner brush. Use any small brush as long as it works. You may have put several layers. Red is transparency so it's hard to work with because you have to you don't want to add white to it because it'll turn pink on you. You know? So you almost got to add several layers of red one after another and make sure each layer is dry. Now, add a bit of burnt sienna to that red and a little bit of black, I think, because we want it really dark. Black, burnt sienna, and red. So I just add it. Black, burnt sienna, and red. Needs to be nice and dark. So that's the, the separation of her lips there. Top lip looks a bit bigger. Okay, we'll come back to that. Just want to finish this up over here. I like those two lashes there. I'm going to take a bit of black on my liner brush and add some more, another lash there. Maybe down here. Kind of like that little extra lash. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We gotta get that flesh tone and everything nice. Gonna add a little bit of this here. A little bit here. So I'm gonna pick up let's see. Let's gonna mix it in here because uh I didn't put any on, so and it's making it a little transparent on the edges there, which is kind of nice. See, whoops! What's happening is the paint underneath is not dry enough. Let's 
wipe off my brush. All right, let's try this again. A little bit of blending gel on my brush. Going back into the flesh tone. And I'm going to try this again. Let's see, let's see. So when you paint portraits, the highlights go on the chin, the cheeks, the nose, and here. Now, I want to To add a little bit of burnt sienna there. You could do this. I mean, if you know, if you really take your art serious, you are going to pick and pick and pick till you get it the way you want it. You know, if you're if you're really serious about doing great job, great work, you're not going to give up too soon. Sometimes you give up too soon. But we don't, you know, you're, you say to yourself, well, how do you know when to stop? How do you know when it's good? How do you know? Well, you can tell by looking at it. I mean, that looks better there now, so I don't really need to keep going over and over that. So I just have to fix this up. It's starting to get better as I'm picking at it. But, you know, You know, you don't want to give up too soon. And that, if you don't give up too soon, that shows that you're really serious about an excellent painting. Okay? Because as a beginner, I, I was the same way. I would give up. I would I'd stop. I'd like, oh, I had enough now. I'm done. That looks good enough. And it don't look good enough. You know, so... And I find working with reference photos is an excellent way to find out if you're doing good or not because you can tell by looking at your reference photo, you know, how far off you are. You could use your reference photo as a reference, yes, but it'll really help you. Just trying to find the light parts. I love this picture. I just I wanted to get it so good. So I really love it. I don't know where I Pixabay found this one, but I tell you, it's beautiful. I love pictures of women with these big hats and feathers and 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 big dresses and things like that. I love that kind of painting. I don't. I'm going to get that red nice and bright. Let's go with this here.
make sure your brush is chiseled edge so you can get around those edges here like this nice synthetic flat chiseled edge brush Now, she's coming along. Clean up the background a little bit. I'll take my bigger flat brush. I'll take a softer one this time, see if I can get a soft look to it. So I'm going to wet it, and I'm going to add a little bit of my blending gel to my brush. And then I'm going to pick up some of my gray color. I'm trying to think. Let's a little bit of white and stuff to it. They can change it up. Okay, we go.
like. There's a few stars on her. So, let's see, let's see. It might be nice, actually. It might be nice. I'm going to add a few. I'm going to take a toothpick. I'm going to add a few little... I'm going to add a few little something there, stars, or just something to brighten it up. I'm not sure, but it looks nice. This gives it a little bit of a sparkle. Maybe that's why it is glistening lights or something. There's some lights glistening. Um, brighten up those centers. I'm going to take some red ones and I'm going to put them on her dress. I think I'm gonna pretty brighten that feather up a little bit because it seems to be I'm gonna put blue in there instead. A little bit of white blue. And uh brighten it up a little bit, it's too dark. You can leave it black if you want to. You can even leave it black and just put some blue over it. You just need to just need a little touch up. So that's what I'll probably do, just leave it black and then put some blue over it. Still be a black feather but with some highlights. Thank you for watching my video today. I just want to say thank you all for all your uh, support through my Patreon page and um, just for watching my video. So I'm really happy that I could do this for you and I get a lot of nice compliments. So I am so happy that you watched that video and if you have any questions about what you saw in the video just leave your comments below and I'll answer them as soon as I can for you and we will do some more videos coming up.